Labor Day weekend so crazy already. Labor Day weekend 2020, and it's a time where we can just relax and, and you know, take time off of work. Although um, I'm sure our our host here, Whitney Reynolds, with Whitney's Women, doesn't really do that for some reason. You you don't. I don't think you ever stop working because you're such a oh busy woman. Oh my goodness. Woman. Well, one, it's really good to be in the studio, and you know what, Brady, I have to tell you, it is hilarious what I'm about to go do this weekend. My husband rented a barn that actually does not have a shower in it. And the fine print read, if you want to shower, you can use our outhouse in the backyard. And I I almost hit cancel, and then I thought, you know what? This is kind of a cool challenge. Do this it. This is going to yes. be the summer of 2020. I mean, this year I already can't forget in so many ways. But um, showering in an outhouse in downstate and staying in a barn maybe not would have not been my Labor Day weekend of choice. However... We are making some very sweet lemonade with this. <laughs> oh, there we go. I love it. I love yes. it. That is uh, so, hanging out for the weekend without it without a toilet is very 2020 for sure. And uh, so is obviously 2020. We've been continuing our journey with introducing Chicago to some amazing women. So Whitney's women, what do we have today? Oh, and this woman is making an impact on Oh, I well actually I just don't even want to I want her to tell you because she's helping so many people in the hospitals and she is just amazing. Felicia Winicky, welcome to the show with Holiday Heroes. Welcome. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. I'm very excited to share what we're doing, what we've been doing. Um, it's been a it's been a, quite a ride this year, I have to say. Well, and I didn't want to give it away because I I actually when you t- pulled me aside when we were talking about what's coming up with Holiday Heroes. And then you told me about what exactly your mission is about. You are impacting so many people. And the way you say it is so perfect. So tell our listeners what exactly Holiday Heroes is all about. So Holiday Heroes was, uh, we're in our 11th year. And our main goal is to provide joy and entertainment to hospitalized children who are battling life-threatening illnesses. Um, we have 16 partners around the greater Chicago land area, and we have two hospital partners in Los Angeles. Um, but really, just our mission is just to provide them with um, a chance to kind of escape their reality and to help them with what they're going through, and not only the children who are hospitalized, but also the families. Um, because everybody, as you know, if your child is in the hospital, the entire family is impacted by that. So we try to bring um, a lot of joy and fun and entertainment to not only the sick child, but also to the entire family. Mm, I love that. And when you say battling life-threatening illnesses, is it are they in the throes of it? They, do they know which way it's going to go, or could it go either outcome whenever it comes to these kids? It could go either way. Um, some of our children are some of our children are um, chronic, so they they are in the hospital a lot, uh, depending on what their illness actually is. And then some of our children um, do have terminal illnesses as well. So we we uh, see the whole range of, of children. That, you know, as a mom, and I, I don't want to say like before I was a mom, it didn't matter, but as a mom. Now, this kid stuff matters to me on a whole new front. And seeing kids smile is like one of the best gifts you can receive as a parent or just a person, just like having a kid smile at you. And so you're doing that through going into the hospitals and putting on, is it, I want to say like costumes, like how exactly do you bring these smiles? So what, um, I'll tell you pre-COVID, and then I will tell you what we're doing during COVID because it's two very different, uh, <laughs> two very different looks. Um, As is life. So, right exactly, exactly. Um, so before COVID hit, we would go into the hospitals in person. We would have um, a costume character with us, and we would decorate the family room. Um, with whatever theme of the month it happens to be. We have a different theme every month, and we decorate the rooms. We have our costume characters who come in and visit with each child. Um, We provide a catered meal for the families, and then we provide activity boxes, which are based on whatever the theme is, and they're full of crafts and STEM activities. And so it's just really a chance for these children and families 
to, like I said, take a break from reality and mm. engage with just some good, wholesome fun. Um, it, the that children is, who, I mean, that is just so amazing. And I, I love that you preface this pre-COVID because hopefully – as we as we get through this, you know, the fall and into 2021, you'll be able to do this kind of stuff again. But what has been happening? Like, what was the shift you had to make during COVID? So um, the shift came on the heels uh, in March. So right on the heels of our St. Patrick's Day parties. And St. Patrick's Day, as you can imagine, in Chicago is a huge, a huge time, a huge event. All of our parties are just so much fun um, in March. And so we had to really shut down everything at warp speed. Now, the good news was, is that the hospitals were were very um, welcoming in allowing us to still provide the activity boxes. So we had prepared, we had prepared in March almost 300 activity boxes to deliver. And um, thankfully they allowed us to still bring those boxes in. We had to drop them at the curb and they took them in for us, but the children still received them. And then we got creative uh, to try to figure out how we could engage with the kids one-on-one. And so what we did was we scheduled um, time with our costume character to go in on an iPad on Zoom, through Zoom, and engage with the children bedside one-on-one and offer them words of encouragement and hope and to share with them that they really are the heroes in this in this part of, you know, of, of what they're going through, that they're the, they're the heroes and they're the strong ones and they have the strength to get through whatever they're dealing with. So, that is um, amazing. Yeah. So, and it has been just the stories and seeing these kids, these kids face light up when um, Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel goes in and talks to them one-on-one and, you know, because she's on Zoom, she doesn't have to be covered in masks and everything. So they actually get to see her up close and personal and have a conversation with her. And it's just so great to see them in awe and smiling and so, um, so engaged. Oh, that is so neat. And you know what I love about what you just said with how you were, how you're handling all this with COVID is, you know, you did pivot, but it almost seems like it's even more engaging. And I think all of us, like even our listeners right now, if we lean into this time and what it's taught us, we're probably going to leave with a stronger business of some set. Like, even though it's probably going to go back to how it was before where hopefully the heroes come into the hospital and all that excitement. But maybe now the communication will be so cool because it'll be so intimate like it was over Zoom and you'll want to bring that in. I think it's just super neat to see how these businesses have done that like you have and and then how we extend this new level going forward. So you guys have an amazing event coming up, which would normally be in person, womp, womp. However, (laughs) the Midway Mass. Great. Tell us about it. So, yes, our annual event typically happens in June. And uh, with everything, of course, we had to postpone it to September and ended up, as things progressed, seeing that it was going to need to be a virtual event. So um, we changed the name from a night at the carnival to the Midway Masquerade, and that is a pun intended there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but we have a wonderful event coming up Thursday. September 17th at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, Paul Conrad, WBN's um, morning, favorite morning weatherman, is going to be our MC again this year. And we've got some great entertainment lined up. Uh, ben Seidman, who is a magician from Los Angeles, I mean, I'm sorry, from Las Vegas, he's going to be doing a live um, magic trick for us, which is going to be really fun. Um, Ooh. We've got entertainment from the Actors Gymnasium Studio out of Evanston. Um, People who are familiar with uh, 16 Candles, they're an 80s cover band that are going to be performing. Yes, and then Jeff Tweedy from Wilco, uh, for all the Wilco fans out there, he will also be performing. Um, And then we have a Midway Masquerade Martini that was custom created by none other than Gibson's uh, Steakhouse bartender, Mark Wagner. So oh, we got, wow, yeah, we what an awesome night. Yes. Yeah. You know what's cool too is that, you know, I've been on a lot of Zoom 
but I love that you have all these activities. <laughs> like, I love that it's going to be active and you can still take away so many new things like a martini recipe, but then it's also benefiting what the main cause is. And that's, as a nonprofit CEO, you have to probably be very nervous because you know it's not just about the revenue at the end of the day. It's also about these kids, and that's what you're all about. Yes, um, and we will be uh, we will be promoting this on all of our social media uh, between now and September 17th. Um, we are <clears throat> encouraging people to tune in, and I've got numerous watch parties that are planned for around the country, so we should be getting a national audience with this. Um, we also have a very fantastic raffle that was donated by a very special friend of Holiday Heroes from his personal collection of Pappy Van Winkle bourbon. And it's a five-bottle collection, which you cannot find anywhere ever. Um, each bottle is also signed by a Van Winkle family member. And we are raffling this off. Um, the drawing will take place live the night of the event. And um, raffle tickets are $100, and we're only selling a 1,000 of them. So, Oh, um, nice. So your odds are good. Yes, so I encourage people, um, you can visit our website, which is holiday-heroes.org, uh, for more information about the event and uh, about purchasing raffle tickets. And we will also have a live auction that night as well. Oh, that is awesome. And so people can get tickets on the website you just mentioned. Like, it is a ticketed event. Actually, it's not a ticketed event. Um, wow. Now, yes. see, now that is amazing. Yes, so we are just encouraging people to watch, and we hope that when they hear our mission and see the impact that we have on these children's lives, that they will be encouraged to get involved and maybe make a donation. Oh, that is amazing, and that is a different twist on it. And that's what I love about you, Felicia. Anytime I'm around you, you always surprise me with something, and hearing about Holiday Heroes and everything that you are about, I knew this was something we had to have on Whitney's Women. Brady, isn't she amazing, and isn't their mission just outstanding what they're doing? You had me sold on uh, superheroes and martinis. So <laughs> the combination of the two I don't think has ever been done, so bravo. That is well, the- yeah. Yeah, and I, and it's on my calendar. I'm I'm there on on September 17th. Yes, we, we will we will be rocking out to 16 candles in uh in the Brady household. Well, that is perfect. So thank cool. you. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Well, Felicia, thank you so much for being our Whitney's Woman of the Week. Well, thank you for both having me on and letting me share our amazing um, mission and all about the event. And we hope that we will see you on the 17th. Love it. Keep up the yeah, great and, work. Mm-hmm. And I was going to say, repeat that website one more time. Okay. It's holiday-heroes, H-E-R-O-E-S dot org. And all the information is there for you to go to the, the actual auction website to get your Pappy Van Winkle tickets. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much, Felicia. Thank you. Wow, Whitney! I mean, you keep bringing it, man. You're like introducing me to all these amazing women and these like even more amazing events, and it's all for a great cause. And that's exactly what you and uh, everything that you're about. Well, it is, and it's really cool because now that we've been doing Whitney's Women for five years, it has become something that people reach out to me literally weekly about these amazing organizations, and we always want to bring, you know, no matter how big or small they are, we want to bring these women who are doing good things in Chicago to the forefront. So if you're listening to this and you have a nonprofit that's amazing, make sure to reach out to us. You can go to WhitneyReynolds.com and click contact. But, Brady, I have to tell you, the good is coming in a lot of ways coming up, and we have our fall season that is launching October 12th. So. One, I am kind of shocked in general that this is actually happening because we produced a season in a pandemic. And this is going to be one of those seasons that will go down in history for me of being not only just life-changing stories, but this was when I knew the world needed our shows more than ever, but it took a lot out of us to get these ready. So I'm super proud of the season. kicks off October 12th on Lakeshore PBS. And then... I know I say this because um, every year we've had announcements, but like the biggest, a biggest announcement announcements for our show is also coming out in October, which is a total game changer. Don't worry, Chicago. We always um, 
We love you, and we will always be here, so don't even worry about that. But I am so excited for October and what's coming out with the show. And um, I'm just going to leave it as that. Oh. I'll leave it as that before well, I get teaser. myself into too much trouble. <laughs> no, you're you're such that's a that's a good radio that's a good radio um um move right there. You you, you leave them hanging. You want them, you want keep them wanting more. Yes, <laughs> and we'll be as of course when that announcement comes out, it'll be on all of our yes. social and all that good stuff. Right. But just you know, before I get off of here, I want to leave Chicago. All of our listeners very encouraged that we are getting through this together. There is going to be light at the end of this. It's been a long year. I can't believe we're already talking about October, but we are so strong together. And I'm honored to be this space for women here on iHeart that are telling the good story. So keep it up, Chicago. I know. I know it's been a tough year, but we we will get through this year together. And you keep up the great inspiration that you provide for our city. So thank you so much. We will talk very soon, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you on a run or maybe at a barn downstate somewhere. Oh, right. (laughs) Ye to the hall. Happy Labor Day, everyone. (laughs) Thanks, Whitney. Thanks. Awesome. That was great.